Hey, I'm going to be talking about page builders and their pricing models, especially for just one site. Lots of page builders say you can have unlimited websites or 25 websites, but I want to get across what would it cost you as a consumer or a client or whoever if you just wanted a license for one website. I will tell you about pricing for, you know, if you can get 25 websites too, just so you can do a bit more of a comparison as well. I'm going to be looking at Elementor, Bricks, Breakdance, Quickly and Generate Press. Bit of variation there. And at the end of the video, I am going to talk about one of the page builders and how their pricing has got me and a few other people a little bit annoyed. And I want to just raise my concerns, but you make your own decision. The prices I'm going to talk about here are as they are right now available on their website. Well, or what they were in the last hour or so. So if they've suddenly changed, I don't know about it. I don't think they have. Anyway, let's cut to the chase. Elementor. I love using Elementor. OK, it's my favorite page builder. You can have Elemental free, for free, basically. But if you really want the WooCommerce uh, widget, uh, template, header, footer, and lots of other things, you got to get Elemental Pro. Elemental Pro is $49 per year. Okay, per year, you'll pay $49. That's great. If, however, you want more licenses for $199 per year, you can have 25 licenses. But you know, if you're getting it for a client or just for yourself, the $49 per year makes perfect sense. Then we have Bricks. It is uh, an amazing page builder and it could one day become my favorite. Who knows? But I am really impressed by their features and what they're doing at the moment. Bricks do not have a free version at the moment. They do have like a playground version, so you can go to their website and try it out, you know, but it, you can't use it for your actual work and what you want to do. That being said, though, one license is $79. That's more than Elemental, but here's the killer. It's lifetime. You pay it once and never again. And what if you want more licenses? Well, then you pay $199. Again, lifetime. For unlimited websites, lifetime, you pay it once. So in terms of pricing, they've got a pretty good model on there. Obviously, though, because it's not recurring income, I would like to think they get the right investment to continue building and getting better and better. What I will say though about the $79 for breakdance is that it could go up to $99 at some point in the future. So that's double the cost of an elemental license. However, it's lifetime, whereas with elemental, you pay year on year. Then we get on to Breakdance. Breakdance uh, have been free for ages because they've been in beta mode. So people have been able to use it. Um, they do advise don't use it on a production site or a live site, but I bet people are doing that. When they do move to the actual final version that will be released, they have a pricing model. At the moment, they are pricing this at $149. So just stop for a moment. There is a free version but it's not the final version. So there will be bugs and things in there, right? The final version, the one you should be using on a production or a live site will be $149 per year. It's not lifetime. It's $149 per year. That is three times the cost of Elementor and practically double the cost of bricks per year. Now that 149 is going to go up to 349. That 149 is for now. I don't know how long, but it is for now. And they've made it very clear on their website that if you lock into that price, you're locked into it and you just pay 149 a year. But it will go up to 349. Now, I'm going to come back on that and what the impact of that is uh, in terms of the fact you only need one license. Then we go into quickly and, of course, generate press as well. These are more for the Gutenberg audience where you're not really wanting like a full blown page builder, but you want the page builder features and capabilities. Slightly different, but you want to be focusing on just the Gutenberg approach. What you got to do is pay $49 a year, like Elemental. But this time you get access to three licenses. Well, that's great, isn't it? I mean, that's now like, let's not even do the maths on it, but that's pretty, pretty damn good. But I'm saying if you only wanted one website, forget the fact you get three. Regardless of that, for one website, it works out to $49 a year because you can't have just one license on its own. You've got to get the $49 that gives you three. If you want a thousand websites, it's $199 a year. Very similar to what Elemental had before they jacked up the prices there. 
but for $199, you can get a thousand licenses. But for one license, it is 49. Now for Generate Press, their pricing is a little bit more where it's $59 per year, which isn't too bad if you think about it, a little bit more than Elementor, you know, but for one website, it is 59. And again, you know, I think that's quite a reasonable price that they've got on there. However, if you go to the lifetime deal, it is 249. So you would pay that once and then that's it. Otherwise, it's $59 a year. Now, I hope so far they make sense. However, I want to now clarify in a table just so you can see the comparison properly before we get on to why I'm irritated by one of them and their pricing. I hope this table helps to make sense in terms of what you're going to be paying. And when you look at that, Breakdance, $149 per year. Now, Bricks is $79 lifetime, but you got to just show, well, what was your one year cost? $149, you know, double the cost of Bricks, three times the cost of Elemental, and look at what it means for quickly and generate press. I find that ridiculously high. The fact that that 149 actually allows you access to unlimited websites. I probably didn't say that earlier, but let me make it clear. That 149 is not just one website. It is unlimited. 10 websites, 50 websites, 1,000 websites, it doesn't matter. It's 149. And you could argue and say, well, 149 compared to, say, the $999 for Elementor for Unlimited, the quickly $149 per year, that 149 for Breakdance isn't really bad. However, look at the title. I'm talking about one year, right, for one license. You're not you're not building a website for a thousand people out there. You're only building it for yourself or for one client. You're going to use breakdance. $149. The fact it's unlimited licenses is irrelevant. One license, $149. Now, what does that mean over three years? Because let's just say the average lifetime of a good website might be three years. Let's just say, okay. Elementor, the cost is $147. Uh, for Brick, $79. You can see the cost there. The percentage value I'm showing you is in comparison to the lowest one. Now, because Bricks is lifetime for one website over three years, you only ever pay $79 in total because it's a lifetime deal. So Elemental is about 186% compared to that. And the same for um, Quickly as well. Generate Press a little bit more. But look at Breakdance. Breakdance, you will be paying $447 over the three years for one license because they don't allow you to have one license. That is crazy, crazy pricing. 565% increase on what you could do with bricks. You know, what are we saying? Uh, triple, whatever it is of Elemental. That is ridiculous pricing. You can see where I'm going with my irritation now. But what about lifetime? Hey, because what if you do get a lifetime deal? Elemental don't have a lifetime deal. Bricks, well, they do, but again, it is $79 over the year. Breakdance don't even have a lifetime deal at the moment. Quickly don't and Generate Press do. I'm just showing you that as a comparison. So if you look at Breakdance, right, $447 you are going to pay over three years. That is going to hit your bank. And you could argue that, well, Surely, whoever you're building these websites for, they can afford that. You know, what's your problem? Well, not always. And I always like to ensure that if your website or your client has got the money to pay for a bigger website, they will pay for that and you will get the right tools in. However, if you're building for like a brochure website or whatever, do they really want to fork out $149 for one year? This is before we even got into their domain and their hosting and maybe other advertising and things like that, and SEO, and, you know, this these are really high costs. Now, don't forget, Breakdance are going to increase their cost to 349. So if you don't lock in now, you're going to be paying 349. Well, all of a sudden, over three years, just look at the price, over $1,000 over three years. Compared to Bricks, which would be $79 for the full three years because it's lifetime, you're paying 1,325%. Well, no. <laughs> I'm really sorry, no. Now, let me get on to my reasons and my bug, Ben. I'm going to leave this up here, okay, for why I'm irritated and why some other people are as well. 
The creators of Breakdance, what they've said is people have made noise about this pricing and what they've come out with is, okay, we might have a free version because they don't have a free version. Forget the beta, okay? When the final version is out, you don't want to be using the beta. We'll have a free version. The free version won't have Woo. It won't have mega menus and it might not have some other stuff as well. Well, in that scenario, you might as well just use Elemental free then, right? Because you're getting everything you need to do. Why would you go to Breakdance then? It, you know, you go with something that is established. Yes, there are bugs. Yes, there can be issues, but go to something that's established and it's got a bigger community. Breakdance at the moment doesn't really have that bigger community. Well, it's got a community, but it's not rolling out videos and tutorials, you know, people like me or whatever, stuff like that. And then they talked about a $79 version, but this one would again not have Woo or Mega Menu. So it got a bit confusing with, are you going to have a free version that doesn't have it, which is maybe stripped down even more? Then you might have a $79 version. And by the way, I did have a bit of a conversation with the, with the developer or creators of this, and he seemed to be jumping around. He said to some people, we might have a $49 version, which does that. Then to me, he said $79, that does the same thing as that. Either way, he wasn't willing to come down from the fact that he's asking you to pay $149 if you want the Woo and the Mega Menu and all of that. And his argument is that, well, if you wanted to go and get this stuff, you're going to have to pay for add-ons. So this works out as a better solution. And for me, it was like, not really, because I could use Elemental. I can still get um, high page speed scores and performance on Elemental with maybe some optimization plugins, free plugins, by the way. I can build a mega menu using a bit of code. So this argument that with extra add-ons, so um, it works out more expensive than you just going for the Breakdance 149 model just falls flat. I'm telling you, it does not work. So I think page builders out there, they have a right to decide on their pricing models and what they're doing. But for God's sake, think about the fact that a client or a consumer or whoever might just need one website. $149, right, or $349 if they buy later on is ridiculous pricing. You're pricing people out. And if you want to make claims that, you know, you are the new whatevers or you're going to change the world or anything, please think a bit more carefully about that. My advice to them is either you have a lifetime deal, okay, which is under $100, which I totally get if you don't want to do because you want the recurring income. Well, in that case, then go to like $70, $80. I mean, look, you could do a $79 per year for breakdance, right? Per year for breakdance, but you get all the features. That would work. I'm not asking them to go down to 40, 50 or whatever. You can go up to 79, 76, whatever you want to go for per year. You're still going to get your money. But you think about a portion of the market and how many of them are going to bite at 149 let alone buy at 349. It ain't happening. Or well, I don't think it will happen, but you could prove me wrong. And in three years' time, when Breakdance is the best page builder ever, I might do another video and say, I got it wrong. But then again, I might not because there's lots of other page builders. New Elemental's been around a long time now and it's doing very, very well. Bricks is on the scene and I think it's going to get better. Breakdance has come along, but their pricing model stinks. And who knows where Gutenberg could be in like two or three years time. Quickly, Generate Press, um, loads of other um, page builders out there. So I think, please think carefully. Don't just jump in to license deals without considering the fact, well, do you need that many licenses, number one? Question I asked one of my, well, live chat viewers was, how many of us have the 1,000 elemental licenses? How many of you actually used? And not a single person was over 100. So just consider how many licenses you need. I'm just putting it out there. But Bricks, the lifetime deal, it is so nice, right? You pay it once and that is it. And you got all these licenses for one or, or you know, un, uh, unlimited licenses. You do what you want with it. But the breakdance model, well, it kind of breaks, right? I'd love to see your comments and your views. Am I talking rubbish or do I make sense? I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you.
Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.